Hi everyone, this is Eric from Traders Helping Traders and in this video I would like to introduce our new support and resistance line service. While most traders understand the importance of support and resistance, they have difficulty defining the regions where support and resistance is likely to occur. Our new service does the hard part for you by identifying the highest probability support and resistance zones. And if you're day trading with ninja charts, the indicator will even put the lines directly on the charts for you. In this short video, I'll show you how to apply and use the indicator on your charts. If you're trading with ninja charts, it's quite simple to apply the support and resistance lines indicator to your chart. And this indicator will automatically draw the lines on the charts for you. Go to your indicator tab and from the indicator window, find your support and resistance lines. S and R levels. Double click on that. Let's just take a quick look at the different parameters. Because it's a proprietary system, there's really not too much to adjust. I will point out, however, that the time begin by default is set at 7 a.m. Therefore, you can actually adjust the time that you want the lines to first appear on your chart. I usually set it to a second past midnight, but you can set it at whatever time you like. The rest of the settings are all pretty much default, so there's not too much to do there. Apply it to your chart, and there you have it. And now every morning, the lines will automatically show up on your chart. Let's take a look at trading support and resistance lines in action. There's several different ways that you can trade support and resistance lines. Some traders might want to use support and resistance areas as scalping lines where you can scalp a tick or two as the market breaks the line. Other traders will like to use the support and resistance lines as areas or zones where to pay attention to possible trades. That's the way that I like to trade support and resistance lines myself is I will look for price reactions at the support and resistance areas and if I get the reaction I'm looking for then I can plan my trade accordingly. Here we have the E-mini chart and the market has just opened up about half an hour ago, 40 minutes ago. So we're pretty much past our opening range. You can see we broke through this support area here at 1323. Prices have come back down and I would look for some sort of support to occur around 1323 and that would be a buy signal for me. So right now it looks as though the market is going to give us that support and I would in turn look to buy on a continuation higher and my target would be the next resistance line. That would be my initial target and if the market broke that resistance area then I would look for subsequent resistance line to be my next profit target. We're about five minutes into our trade and we're currently up around 250 to $300. And now that we've hit our first area of resistance, we could do one of two things. We could use that as a profit taking target or we could wait to see how the market reacts here. I've tightened up the exit stops a little bit to lock in at least some profit. As the market trades higher, we can use the former area of resistance as a good place to hide our exit stop. And once again, we're on the lookout to see what prices will do when they encounter the next area of resistance. You could also use this as a profit taking target if you're trading multiple contracts. Okay, things are starting to turn a little bit bearish. I might get a little tighter with my exit stop as it appears as though we are getting a reaction now to our resistance area. So now that we have the market trading off of resistance, if this turns bearish on us now, then we can actually sell the resistance line. We are 15 minutes into our trade and the market has run back down to our level of support. We've had an opportunity to roll in our stops and now we're just waiting to see how prices react to the support area. Once again, you can use the support area as a profit-taking target or just as a cue as 
to where to expect prices to react. This might be a good opportunity to roll our stops a little as it looks as though we might be getting a reaction to the support line. Alright, so that's how you can use the support and resistance lines on their own, either to scalp from or to look at as areas where prices might make some sort of reaction. Support and resistance lines can also be used in conjunction with other indicators. Here is a standard 14 period RSI. Notice how RSI is confirming what we are seeing happening on the price chart. Prices are trading around an area of support and RSI is getting toward the oversold region, thereby giving us more confidence with which to buy this market. If this support area holds, then that will be a buy signal for us with RSI confirming the signal. It looks as though the support area is going to hold, so now we can set up to buy on a move higher. All right, the market has brought us in. We can enter our exit stop, and now we will look to the next area of resistance as a probable profit target, or at the very least, an area where we can expect the market to give us some sort of reaction. We are a little over half an hour into this trade and the market is making its way back to our resistance area. We've had an opportunity to roll up our stops. Once again, we can use the resistance area as a line from which to take profit or just as an area from which we can anticipate prices to do something. So there you have it, support and resistance lines. A simple, straightforward, easy to use method for judging high probability regions from which you can plan your trades. And best of all, they're all done for you. So I hope you will consider using support and resistance lines to improve your trade timing and profits. Thank you for watching. <music>